and welcome back for another Tool Time Tuesday. I'm Melissa Muir. Today I wanted to talk really briefly on various texture hammers. You'll see that I have quite an assortment of them, but you can use them to create all sorts of textures. Of course, you don't need to spend the money on a texture hammer in order to get good textures on your metal, but they do make it a little bit easier. So uh, I'm just going to talk really quickly about a few different styles that I have. These three are on loan to me from a friend. Uh, these are made by Myland Tools, and he has a number of tools that he does. And basically what he'll do is he will just get some, you know, normal hardware store type of tools, hammers and pliers, and he alters them to do different functions. So there will be a couple of different Tool Time Tuesdays. Uh, coming up soon that feature a few of those tools. So the texture hammers that I have of his that are available, we've got the diamond patch or diamond cross hatch, squares, and then also some lines. Now two of these have the ends where they've been ground off because these started life as a, a ball peen hammer. So you have a nice planishing edge on the end of these, which is kind of nice. And then on the last one, he's left uh, the ball peen, but again has altered it so that there is now another texture in there with that crosshatch on that. Now, these four tools come from Euro Tools. I do not keep them in stock regularly just because of the cost of keeping things in stock right now, but if you're interested, drop me a line and we will set up an order to get some in. They're pretty inexpensive. These three hammers run approximately $20 a piece, whereas this hammer, and it has, you'll see, nine interchangeable heads that have a lot of the same textures that come on these three hammers. Um, this hammer runs about $45 approximately, give or take a couple dollars. Just kind of depends on who you buy it through uh, and shipping costs. And you'll see on these, so for instance, the, the interchangeable head has a similar pattern. Now you'll remember that I also showed you that on the Myland, there was also another uh, head that had the diamond crosshatch, but you can see the size difference in those. So there are some differences, and it just kind of depends on how much you want to spend on the tool and also which size you want. So even though there are a few repeats here uh, between um, different textures, so here we've got like a narrow uh, line pattern, and then we've got the thicker line pattern, but there are some differences, okay, just because the tools are made differently, the heads are different. These interchangeable ones tend to have a little smaller pattern to them. Um, one difference that I did note was on the squares. Okay, you've got the square patterns, and those are fun. And again, we've got a little smaller pattern on this one. However, on the Myland tool, his comes with a very fine pattern on it as well for the squares. So again, you can kind of see the differences there. They're kind of fun. The interchangeable head, some people like, some people don't. Uh, it is more of an economy hammer so it's not going to be super high quality and because of that sometimes the threads as you're trying to thread a face on so what you do is you just take your face put it down so that it points out through the collet and then sometimes putting the collet on the threads are a little bit uh, rough and if that's the case on yours you can always give it a little squirt of WD-40 or one thing that I like to do is just take a little bit of powdered graphite or even if you don't have powdered graphite just take a pencil rub it along the uh, the threads on your hammer head and you'll be able to slip it on a little bit easier uh, other things that some people have complained about with this particular hammer is that when they are hammering it can loosen up I have not personally had that problem, but obviously some people have. So it's something that you may run into if you decide to go with this hammer. Again, the thing that I like about this is that I do get nine different heads. Uh, some of these heads just have like a single square or a, a point or a rounded edge, a circle, and this one has like the little hollow point on there. So again, you're going to have a little bit more control with those. These hammers are great, but you only get two uh, textures per hammer. 
one hammer that I I love the cross hatch with the diamonds however this particular pattern I have a very difficult time getting any kind of really good repeatable results with so for me that end is not as good as some of these others so I'll give um, I'll, I'll demo a couple of these and then show you what you have at the end really quickly I've just gone through and textured up a sheet of like one inch copper just to kind of show some of the differences so here at the very end I started with the very small head on the interchangeable hammer and I went into the hammer that's got the double sided head uh, from Euro Tools and then I did the Myland and you can kind of see and hopefully you can see this on the video like the little head had very very fine diamond shapes and as we got larger like the one that's Myland gave me more triangles than rather a diamond shape which was kind of cool and again I switched to a very fine uh, the finer end of the the lines on my Euro Tools head and I went to the fine head on the interchangeable and again to the striped one that Myland has and Myland's tools you can kind of see here if I can get the flash just right on it it's a much broader or wider stripe so it would be more comparable to the larger stripe on the other two hammers and then I went to the Myland big squares and then the interchange or not the interchangeable but the double headed face for the Euro tools and then to the interchangeable head with the squares and you can kind of again see the change in between these now I will say that I really liked the squares of Myland's however the hammer is very heavy so my arm tended to be a lot more fatigued more quickly than the other two hammers and this last one was just the uh, dimpled face from the uh, Euro tools head so that's what that one is that's back here and there is no real comparison uh, head for the others other than maybe the single whoops let's try that again then the single hole but again you're not going to get this same kind of effect when you use this hammer and if you were to use this hammer head it's going to take you a lot more time to get to this as well so there's just a di quick demonstration on the various texturing hammers that are available out there that you can get obviously there are some more uh, and that there are obviously other ways that you can texture up your your metals but this is a very quick way to get some really nice textures as well